a photo, a professional photojournalistic artist who was sent by the State Department to photograph human trafficking, and it just blew her mind so badly. She said, I'm just going to start doing something else. So she started Artworks for Freedom, which is based in DC. She has included other artists, it's drama, it's dance, it's participatory events, it's telling survivors stories if they want their stories to be told. Their big anniversary, they're having a big event in DC in October, and we're the kickoff. And they're advertising Easton as the kickoff for the event, which will be met, a metropolitan-wide event in DC. And art is a vehicle, not only for informing people, but also for allowing survivors to tell their stories. Most of the, most of the pieces in the exhibit portray the real stories, but anonymously. And so part of this issue is still viewing people as property, and it's a power issue. But the figure that is out there now is that it is $150 billion a year Industry. industry, including like every time we have a Super Bowl in this country, 10,000 young women are brought into that site to sort of feed the, the need, you know, as it were there, which, you know, I think those are some of the things that really, you know, like when you hear about something going on in Thailand, it's different when it's happening, you know, like at the Super Bowl. At the Super Bowl, right. The all-American event. But this has just really sort of clobbered me. Yeah, and then you start going online and researching stuff, and then you realize like Maryland's in the top 10 states in the United States per, um, per capita incidence of human trafficking. And everyone here is like, what? You kind of lure someone in, make them feel like you're their boyfriend, their friend, their auntie or something, and then you isolate them. And then you say, well, you know, I've done all this for you, so now you have to work for me a little bit. Right, you have to pay and, me back uh, something. You pay yeah. me back, and then it goes from there. The core is bought and sold, which is by Kay Chernish, the founder, which are the uh, photographic artworks, along with the story that go with them. Those form the core of it. Then there are eight artists locally. Sue so is fine. Myself, Carol Minerick, Carol Marcus, Gordine, Carol Gordine, Teresa McFadden, Maureen Farrell, Amare Safu. So one of the things that I've always done to deal with whatever is going on in the world or in my life is to create artwork. So a lot of my pieces I've done through the years in response to trying to understand you know, the dynamics that make that exist in this society. It's challenging to be an awake human in this culture, especially with access to what's going on all over the world. I mean, I feel like we're inundated with a lot of really difficult information to try to absorb. And if you're not depressed and angry, um, you're probably not paying too much attention. But you know, we don't want to go around being depressed and angry. So, you know, like by degrees you work through that and try to find, you know, try to find bright spots and know that one life altered or one person being shown something that makes them maybe more aware, like that's how change occurs. You know, like